Now let's begin by going to our router and in, on our router we'll set there and we'll enter the uh, basic commands just to get uh, authentication going for our con zero. So the first step would be I'd have to go to my router, log in, and uh, get to the global configuration. Now to go to global configuration I'll just type the command config t. And here this moves me to the uh, global configuration mode. Now, the next step would be to issue the AAA new model command. Now, just as a fact of doing this command could inadvertently lock you out of your Cisco router. So be very careful in enabling this command. Now, the next thing is that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a... Um, a username. In here we'll use the username command. Username, uh, I'll just say bill space password Cisco. Then we'll hit enter. Now, the next step would be to sit there and go to a line interface or to um, invoke the login services. So from here I'm going to go to, conf uh, excuse me, I'm going to go to the line con zero. And here I'm going to set there and I'm going to uh, configure a password here. So um, I'll do password, um, password Cisco. And then I'll say I'm going to evoke login local. Now what this command is doing is actually telling it to log in local using a local user database. So what I'll do is I'll hit enter. Ah, it doesn't like this command. So let's see what I've done wrong here. So let's just use a question mark here. So I'll have to do an authentication uh, local. Now, in here is telling me I can't do it local. Well, because it couldn't find that. So I'll have to come back and define that um, local name in here. So in here I'll use the triple A authentication authentication login and then we'll just use keyword default and then we'll give it a name of local. Now, if I do, uh, I do a control Z, we'll do a show run here real quick and verify that our commands are in here. As you can see, I've got my um, triple A authentication login default local. I've got my username. We've got our username Bill. And um, if you noticed here though, we don't see anything on here. Oh, excuse me. Let me do show run again. I sat there and hit the incorrect key. We'll go down, and now we can see line con zero has the login authentication local. Now that local is going to tie it in with the uh, local database. So let's go ahead and verify this and make sure it works. So I'll hit enable. It's going to prompt me for a username, Bill, and then I'll pro provide the password. Now to get back into global configuration, I'll, I'll supply that password, and now we're back in. So now that I've verified it, I can go ahead and um, write this to memory. Now there will be a couple ways we can do this. I can do copy, run, start, or for me, I just like to do WR, write mem.